And what is up, guys? It's your Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with another quick little unboxing for you. In this one, I've got something really cool from Swiss Tech. I'm not sure what's in here myself, so I can't wait to get in here and, uh, you know, check it out with you guys. So, uh, you know, let's get into that. First, we'll get into, um, we'll go over to the bench, and uh, I'll open it up, and we'll take a look, see what's in the box. And um, before we do that, I wanted to tell you... what. Welcome to Average Gear Review, where the best gear is the gear you have on. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thanks so much for stopping by to watch one of my little videos. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. If you're a returning viewer, hey, it means even more. So good to see you again. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, this package that I've gotten in, of course, there's a little story behind it. And if you want to skip to the unboxing, that's fine. I'll, I'll put chapters so that you can definitely do that. Um, I've got something in from Swiss Tech. And I don't know if you guys saw my video um, that I did a while back. I uh, did an unboxing on the Listig. Yes. The Listig, it was called. Um, and it's sort of their version of a Swiss Army knife. Well, during the unboxing of that video, and it's the first time this has ever happened to me. It's actually the only time it's ever happened to me um, while I was filming the video. It, literally, the scissors broke on it. So... I was, uh, you know, I, I went ahead and put it in the video because I always try to be completely honest and transparent with you guys. You know, I, I don't want to ever, I don't want to ever mislead you. I, I definitely don't want to recommend a product that uh, it, it doesn't work. So, and, you know, I just thought maybe that was just a, a problem in the manufacturing. It can happen. Any Anything can, you know, I used to sell cars and I know for sure that you can have a dud of a car. So, I contacted Swiss Tech, just kind of reached out to him and uh, said, hey, I had this issue. You know, I, I, I don't want to believe that you just make a bad product. I, I think that it's probably just, you know, a problem with this particular thing. So I was contacted not very long after that by uh, Alex over there at Swiss Tech. Shout out to Alex. What's up, bro? Um, and he, you know, he was like, hey, man, I'm so sorry that that happened. Let me get you one out, um, a, a new one out. And so he sent one out, but that conversation sort of opened up a dialogue between us. And I don't know if you guys know this or not. Swiss Tech is actually, they're based out of Bentonville, Arkansas. Um, so they are uh, an America-based company. He was, Alex was telling me that, uh, and I know if you guys remember a year or two ago, they went on through a, a major revamp, all their products, changed up a whole bunch of uh, stuff, came out with a, a really cool multiplier and, um, you know, just some really neat stuff and completely changed up the look of, of a lot of their gear. That was all because of the efforts that were made when they moved the team there to Bentonville. It, they started designing everything in the U.S. He said, you know, that they do some manufacturing overseas. Obviously, it, it's the cost of doing business in, 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 these days, it seems like, um, you know, but I like the fact that they're designed in the U.S. So, like I said, it just kind of opened up a dialogue between us and uh and talking to him, you know, he said, uh, I'd like to send you another knife out, you know, to check out. So um, I was like, awesome, dude. I'd love to, you know, anything you have, I'd love to take a look at it. Um, you know, and and also, I, I think I skipped a part there. They did send me another listing and uh, I did another video on it and it, and it performed perfectly. Uh, no issues with it at all. You know, on the first pair, the scissors snapped just as soon as I used them. And on this one, uh, you can see in the video, I cut several pieces of cardboard with it. So I was really happy with the quality of their stuff at that point. And, um, you know, he said, hey, let me send another knife out for you to check out. And I was like, sure, man, let's do it. So long story long, this is that knife. So let's get over to the bench uh, top down and we'll take a look at it. OK, and over here at the bench, we're going to get into the box really quickly. I know that's what you guys really came here to see. Some people don't like this part of the uh, unboxing, and uh, I'm really sorry for that. I, I feel bad. Um, I, I kind of like just sharing the experience with you guys, and um, kind of felt like you guys would dig that too. Pretty nice packaging that they sent it in. Of course, using our little uh, Armager 2, the unboxing buddy. There's a link for that down there in the description if you want to pick one of those up, by the way. Um, so, yeah, we've got the Swiss Tech. Gerundit, Gerundit, am I pronouncing that right? 
I'm not 100% sure. Let's look at the box here. Looks like you've got some Aust 8 steel, ceramic running on ceramic ball bearings. Okay, nice. Uh, carbon fiber and aluminum frame. Uh, back flipper. Let's take a look at the back here. Let me center that up for you. So it's three inch titanium coated Aust 8 blade. That's nice. Anodized aluminum with the carbon fiber inlay, ceramic ball bearings, low profile back flipper. Lanyard hole. That's nice to see. Reflective flex cord lanyard. <laughs> Minimal and elegant streamlined design. So it's so slim and so smooth. Okay, so let's check out this uh, Garundit. Okay, I got to say, just first impressions, that looks nice. I, I like the look of that. It's got a, a very sleek look to it. And pretty nice packaging, I have to say. Uh, it's a pretty nice um, presentation of the knife, it seems like. Okay, well, yeah, let's get that out of there and take a look at it. So, yeah, that is, you're looking at the Swiss Tech Garundit. A nice, nice carbon fiber inlay on it. It feels good, nice texture to it, too. The scales have a sort of powder-coated feel to them. It's got a really slim, sleek type of feel to it. It seems like it'd be a really nice gentleman's knife. Uh, a nice red aluminum backspacer back here, and there's your lanyard hole. Okay, and I, I, you guys got to check this out. Not much of a pocket clip there. It's kind of small, but it does have recessed screws. So you got to respect that kind of hustle. Looks like you've got full steel liners in here and um, just one offset there, it looks like. Very, very sleek, um, minimalist looking design. And like I said, it seems like something that would make a really, really nice, um, just like a gentleman's knife, something to carry around um, in dress pants or maybe for a dressier occasion or just as a, you know, with the blade shape. It, it kind of reminds me of that Swiss Army style knife, just super, super useful blade type, you know. Um, also got some good jimping there on the liner lock. And the liner lock looks like it's got, what do you think there, guys? Lock up there, 45, 50% maybe? Not bad. The uh, hardware, I'll have to check what that is because I always estimate it and it seems like I'm always wrong. Let's see. With the old pocket platform on me, as always. Let's see. Let's just check these pivots. So that's an eight. Let's see. Is that the eight or is that the... Oh, that was a six. My bad. This is the eight. And I believe that's, yep, T8 pivot. And these hardware... Maybe a T6. Let's just verify that for you guys because apparently I've done a very poor job of... <laughs> Of getting that right in in a few videos, so I've had people correct me in the comments. They're like, "No, dude, that's a T20." I'm like, "Okay, my bad." Um, so yeah, let's check out the liner lock on that. Got a good detent, really kind of sucks it in there, but man, it flips right out. Very nice. I'm personally, I'm not a huge fan of just the front flipper design. I'm really a fan of more of something with some thumb studs or. A flipper hole, you know, something like that. But on the gentleman's knife, on a gentleman type knife, I, I don't mind that at all. And it actually makes it look a lot more sleek. Very nice looking knife. The carbon fiber, guys, is really, really seems well done to me. I, I like that inlay. And I will say, guys, they sent me this. He, Alex sent me this knife out, but I, I did tell him, I'm going to be honest in my reviews. They are not paying me to review this knife at all. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to keep it or send it back actually. So, um, I'll have to check with them on that. I, th I think it was to keep, I think it was to keep, um, so I'll probably put the uh, paid promotion tag up there just to, you know, like I said, I always want to be honest with you guys, but, um, you know, like I said, they're not, they're not paying me. Uh, it's just, they send it out for me to review and look at with the, uh, you know, with the understanding that I would be hundred percent honest about it. 
And I got to say, just the first few flicks of it, you know, it's a little bit stiff out of the box, which is, you know, if you've ever gotten a knife, a new knife before, you know that that's just par for the course. It's got a really nice detent um, and it feels good in the hands. I like the ergos of it with it being so slim and sleek. There's not a whole lot of scales there, but man, that that finger stop there really, really comes in handy. Your flipper tab, um, you know, works as a finger stop there. And that, that's very nice. Feels very good in the hand. Um, reverse grip too, which is like, you know, if you had to reverse grip it, I guess you could. <clears throat> so you can light switch flip it. And uh, let's see, we push button. Yeah, we'll push button too. So a good flipper action on it. I haven't adjusted the pivot. I haven't oiled it. I haven't put anything on it at all. And let's cut a couple of things. I've got... Let's just start off with a regular sheet of paper here. And again, this is straight out of the box. I haven't done a thing to the edge, so uh, no funny business. Okay. It's a little, seems a little toothy maybe, but it is pretty slicey. Oh yeah. You know, sometimes you just gotta get through a few sheets before it'll really start humming. Yeah, look at that. So I would say out of the box, yeah. Pretty sharp um, on paper, as they say. <laughs> Pretty sharp on paper. Oh, boy. Anyway, like the video, guys. If you like the video, please leave a like down below. Um, and don't forget to subscribe for more great content. Hey, it won't cut that way because that's backwards. Check it out. Okay, so yeah. It's just going right through. There you go. It's just my it's my fat fingers. That that's why. That's why I have a problem with the curly keys. It's ne it's never the knife. Almost almost rarely is it ever the knife. It's just me. That's just me. Okay. Let's uh, try it out on a little bit of cardboard here. Uh, and this is actually the box that it came in. So see how it does on that. Okay. It's a, the blade is a little thick. It, I mean, it is sharp and it'll go through it, but there's a little resistance you can feel. Um, you know, and that's one of the reasons I think like thinner knives, like the, uh, Para 3, um, the Spydercos, they'll, they'll do so well on box cutting because they just have that thinner, um, thinner, thinner blade. And uh, this one, as you can see, it's a fairly thick blade stock there. I'm not really sure. I don't, I didn't see on the box how thick the knife was. Oh, hey, they had some stuff hiding in the box. There's a little velvet bag. And uh, this is the lanyard, reflective lanyard cord they were talking about. But it does not tell you any more about the blade thickness. If I can look it up and uh, put it on, and uh, I'll try and put it in the, try to put it on the screen here if I can find it before I put the video up. Um, you know, if not, It's just almost an eighth of an inch thick, so whatever that works out to in millimeters. Um, I'll show you a couple of little size comparisons here real quick. And, and this knife, at first I was thinking, smaller gentleman knife, I was thinking it would be more in the size of like the bow. Um, but it's, it's a little bit larger than the bow. Uh, and the bow to me is a, a just perfect size for a gentleman's knife. Um, you know, by gentleman's knife, I mean a smaller EDC knife. It's a little more, not really so much a working knife, but uh, just a, you know, a blade you would have on you in uh, dress occasions, just so you weren't, you know, without a blade. But anyway, it is a little, little bigger than the, than the bow. Um, let's take a look at it next to the uh, good old Benchmade bug out. And you can see it's just almost as big as the bug out. And in fact, the blade probably get about the same blade length you got a, a taller blade on the bug out and obviously a little more handle but um well you know actually the handles aren't that much off uh let's see uh, next to the old uh 
pair of three. See how it looks. Um, the O knife Roboto two or Kaiser Drop Bear, same size. You, you can see the carbon fiber in this one almost looks nicer. It's just a different kind of weave, and I think it's a little more polished look. It's a very tight carbon fiber weave. I like the one that's on the Roboto too, but it just it looks a little different from that. Um, there's the here's uh, one next to the uh, Dimco AD twenty point five, and you can see what I mean. It's just a lot slimmer. So these are more of like your working EDC type knives, or even um, self defense type knives. Whereas the slim slimmer knives like these are going to be more of that gentleman knife category that I was talking about. Um, here's one more. Put the uh, arcade out there just because you know I, I got to put the arcade in the video because why not? But uh, yeah, arcade's quite a bit bigger, obviously. So that gives you an idea of how well it'll cut. Gives you a good idea of how it fits into the EDC category. And um, you know what I think about it? I really think it's a decent little EDC knife. I like it a lot. Um, I like the slim profile of it. Like I said, it's uh, just a really nice little gentleman's knife size. And uh, I really, really like the profile of it. Um, the action is good. Good lock up on the liner lock. Nice, nice action on the flipper tab. The detent is tuned really nicely. It's not drop shut, but you know, it's brand new out of the box. So you, you can't expect, you know, it to be just broken in yet 100% worked in but my first impressions of it are, seems like a good knife and it is so I think it's a great little knife for the price and I know that you can get these uh, at walmart.com you can also get them uh, in Walmart stores right now they're running I think $29.95 I never did look up Gorendit to see what that means I was going to do that and I totally forgot to so um, bonus points if you post in the comments down below what Gerundit means. Um, 50 bonus points. So anyway, guys, like I say, $29 for uh, OS 8 steel, which you can still find in a lot of cold steel knives right now. So OS 8 is not a bad steel. Um, you know, it's not M390. It's not CPM 154. Or, or, you know, it, it's not one of these super steels, but it is a good, good steel. Uh, a definitely a decent steel, nice aluminum handles and a carbon fiber. Um, it does have a captive pivot, the recessed uh, screws on the hardware pocket clip is decent for $29.95. I, I got to say that's not a bad deal on these. And um, it, it, it is actually um, something that I could see myself carrying. I was looking at that to see if it's, blade was centered it looked like it was off a little bit but no, it's 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 on just um the liner lock had it skewed a little bit so anyway guys if you like the video please leave a like down below if you're not subscribed i didn't cut anything off just then because i know you guys i know you guys are worried um and the knife i believe is fine yeah it's fine it's, it's just perfectly fine but yeah, guys, uh, leave me a like down below if you do like the video. I keep giving you the videos for free. Just just leave me a like. That's that's all I ask. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, brother. Make sure that you are subscribed so you can stay on top of future content that we're coming out with. Check us out for the Friday Night Pocket Dump. Hope I'll see all you guys there. Uh, that's all I got for you. Swiss Tech, good job. Shout out, Alex. Anyway, guys, like I always say, always be caring. And remember... The best gear is the gear you have on you. Average Gear Reviewer, I'm out of here. Average Gear Review, but the best gear is the gear you have on you.